All right, in today's video, we'll be showing you how to place a brake caliper on this 2000 Chevy Prism. Uh, we know that the caliper's going bad because as my friend and other YouTuber, Zach here, was driving up, it was squealing really good. And this rim and thing is very hot. So there's a lot of friction going on there. Uh, the, what's happening is the uh, cylinder here is seizing up and it's not retracting properly on the old one. So he just picked up this new one. And we're gonna show you how to get started and take and replace one of these. So step one, I guess, get the jack ready and uh, take off your lug nuts here. And uh, if you got a hubcap, take that off too. Nuts are off, they were hot. This thing is smoking, let's see. Uh, okay, the thing's been here for about five, 10 minutes and that's about how hot it is on my little uh, temperature reader. Caliper itself. Yeah, yeah, look at that rotor. We're gonna be using some, uh, some gloves here. Uh, Cause 200 degrees is pretty fucking hot. <laughs> I'll let you take it off, Zach. All right, so I did a little air blower, a little crapsman. We're reading about 80 degrees now. I hit that for about three, four minutes. So that's a lot better to work with. All right, you're gonna wanna get a little PB blaster. You're gonna wanna split it on four bolts. You have your two for your, uh, take your caliper off, and then uh, then you got your two that mount to the, uh, I guess, frame, not frame, but you know what I'm talking about. So you got. This is your large one, this is a 17. This is uh what did I say that was like? 14. 14, so probably different on a different vehicle. Um, this should be about the same procedure for most vehicles. So, remove those bolts. You're probably gonna need a big bar uh, breaker bar here. And you got your ratchet to finish it off. Uh, before you break those, you're gonna wanna remove uh, your uh, brake line. Hope that don't break. Get it? Brake line. And that's probably on this car, it's a 15 millimeter, it looks like. So I'll get to you after that. And then make sure you keep your brake cap on so you don't have gravity bleed. And just uh, put that up there with like a bungee cord or something. And try not to get brake fluid everywhere because it'll stain everything. All right, so we got the old caliper off. Uh, you do not have to take off the, those first two bolts I showed you here and here, just your frame bolts. Then you can uh, take off your pads from the inside. Uh, you're going to start dripping brake fluid. Try to tie that up. We need to move quickly. We don't want to get air in the line. Too much air. Check your brake fluid level. Add as needed. Keep the cap on. What we're going to do is come over here, take off these two bolts. Then we're going to uh, mount our brake line here. Get that up, my, uh, you know, torque that to, let's see, 10 to 15. And then we'll get that mounted to the frame. And then it's just uh, putting new, the brake pads back on and yada yada. All right, we're trying to move a little fast here because we're dripping brake fluid. Uh, so we're gonna put your frame back on. You're gonna have to probably use the original bolts. We're gonna torque those at 40 foot pounds. Those are those guys there. Then we're gonna proceed and we'll put on the rest of the caliper. These are at 20 foot-pounds. We'll show you how to put the pads back on and all that. All right, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of grease on your clips so your brake pads just protect it so you slide a little better. And don't forget to use copper anti-seize on all your uh, bolts so it's easier taking them out next time. Now we're gonna put on our brake pads. They just actually just slide right in. So I can't do this one-handed, but we'll slide this side in, the other side, and then we'll show you what to do next. All right, we got our pads back on. Put, make sure you get a little grease on these guys here. And now we're gonna put on the rest of our caliper. This comes pre-squeezed, lucky us. We're gonna mount that on. That just slides over, got the bolts, uh, 20 foot pounds. Then we'll proceed with uh, getting uh, brake fluid in here and bleeding the system. All right, now that you got your caliper on, you got these to, what do I say? 20 foot pounds. 20 foot pounds, putting on our uh, brake line. That's this nut. Next, getting the uh, the line. Then you'll put these two washers between the housing. You can see they're leaking. So we're gonna do that next. All right, we got the we got that guy on there. I tightened that down to 15 foot pounds. Uh, I got my little contraption for bleeding it. I'm gonna have a little jar to dump it in. I had to borrow some brake fluid from the neighbors. 
because Zach doesn't remember to pick up stuff. And what we're going to do is I'm going to loosen this bolt right here. And Zach's going to pump the brakes until we don't see any bubbles coming out. Then a little bit more. And then that should be all set. Take it for a drive. See how it goes. After we put the tire on, of course. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, please put it in the comments below. I'll be doing a video similar to this on my Chevy Cruze back there on the front uh, and brakes and rotors uh, once those are needed, probably in a year or so. And uh, see you around, YouTubers.